सो वाइज अगर आप भी मॉक इंटरव्यू देना चाहते हैं तो वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको एक लिंक मिलेगा जहाँ पे आपको एक गूगल फॉर्म को जाके फिल करना है एंड आपका इंटरव्यू स्केड्यूल हो जाएगा एंड इसके अलावा अगर आपको कोई भी कोर्स जावा पाइथन जावा स्क्रिप्ट इसके अंदर अगर आपको कोई भी कोर्स देखना है तो प्लीज़ आप यूट्यूब पर जाके ट्राई डे पर विजिट कर सकते हैं ओके एंड लेट्स ट्रैक टू द इंटरव्यू तो शेल वी स्टार्ट ओके सो अक्षय सॉरी अभिषेक जस्ट जस्ट टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड अबाउट योर लास्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स माय नेम इज अभिषेक श्रीवास्तव करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग न्यूज एंड सॉफ्टवेयर आई हैव वर्क विद मेनी ऑफ द बैंक्स माय रीसेंट वर्किंग विद आई एम आई एम रिसेंटली वर्किंग विद आईसीआईसीआई कतर एंड माय मोस्ट लेटेस्ट प्रोजेक्ट इज विद सीबीआई uh so basically uh, in banking domain we build and uh, we build project for bank and then uh, we do rest integrations and all that uh i have spent me, uh, nearly 3 years polishing my skills mm-hmm. uh, with a very good cap score of 93% okay okay so as you work in N, uh, nvfcs and banks right banks mm-hmm. and all you work in okay so like uh, which technologies you used and basically i use java microservices rest apis and spring boot okay so you are almost work on back end side right uh-huh, have you yes. get any chance to work with front end side uh no never i didn't go okay, okay. because so i am not very good at front end technologies so yeah, and that's not the issue okay so this is you just uh, you worked on java and spring boot right microservices and all rest okay. apis which version of java you are currently using uh java 8 java 8 okay Okay, so let's start with as you mentioned, like you worked with bank APIs and all, right? Mm-hmm. So there is a question from Spring Boot. We will start with Spring Boot. What is at the rate transactional annotation? At the rate transactional annotation. Yes. Uh, uh, no, sir. I don't. Okay. Okay. So this is basically when you are committing any changes into database, you are creating okay. any transaction or uh, creating any query. Okay, insert an update or something. So if that function is failed, that query is failed, so it will roll back to your uh, uh, primary stage, the persistent stages, and then roll back to the first stage. Okay, so okay. this is the transactional approach. No issue. Okay, so what is functional programming? Functional programming is that, I mean, uh, like uh, we we in the old Java version we use POJOs, so we use object and then uh, in the functional program we need not to create an object that eliminates. use predicate not mm-hmm. for coding part okay so okay okay what is the use of stream api the stream api is basically used to collect the uh, list of the arrays as a stream and we can just perform uh, filters and map function on that stream and then collect back into the list or any other data type like integer or string okay okay so uh, about the stream api what is predicate interface predicate interface is used for uh, uh, mapping like uh, uh, i can just explain i don't mm-hmm. know the exact yeah. definition for mm-hmm. example let's let's mm-hmm. talk about uh, filter when we use filter mm-hmm. uh, uh, when while using filter we uh, say that n predicate n modulus 2 is equals to equals to 0 so what it does it uh, it filters out all the values that have uh, zero remainder while modding with 2 and then collects that data into n okay so this is the predicate right correct okay so like as predicate there is a some more functions right okay supplier predicate if you know you can explain no 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 if you predicate and okay predicate you used okay no issue okay what is the different between filter and map okay filter is used to filter the uh, criteria like n mod 2 is equals to equals to 0 and then if we want to square that data hmm. fill if we want to square that filter data we'll use map we'll use so map. filter is filtering and map is mapping that data into some expression okay suppose there is a list of objects okay as you mentioned you will fill, uh, map that object okay with that uh, mm-hmm. list okay suppose you want to create a object for a other class and need to uh, you want to collect it from other uh, to into the other class package okay suppose there is a class of users okay mm-hmm. and you uh, streamed it like use a stream api and create a de- and you create a student class and you want to collect user name and detail into that student class so uh, how you can do that uh can you please repeat the question yes, simple I... simple suppose there is a list of users okay a okay. b c d e f g there is a some users okay 
and you want to collect their data into other object which is student object so how you can do this with stream api uh first of all i'll filter that data hmm. then collectors by collecting into list and then i'll return that list to that object with filter uh, okay uh, we are not filtering the data but just we are collecting the data so we can use map but okay if we are use filter filter also this will like uh, if you want to filter something and then you can dot collect as list or something you can do that okay no issue okay uh, abhishek what is design patterns in java uh, there are mainly uh, matlab i basically know two design patterns like mm-hmm. singleton design pattern factory design pattern design pattern are make uh, are made to uh, matlab are designed to make our work easier basically uh, what happens is uh, i'll explain you singleton design pattern first mm-hmm. and then that. So what happens is uh, sometimes you need to commit a tra- uh, while creating a transaction into an database uh, situation of deadlock occurs. Okay. So uh, design patterns eliminate that situation singleton design pattern by creating single instance of an object. So this is one design pattern. Another one I know is factory design pattern uh, that, uh, that that tells us that uh, whenever you need an object, create object at that time only or an of that type. Well, you yeah. need not to specify the type and time of the object. You just use factory design pattern and create that time and that type of object. So what happens is sometimes there are various situations that has to be eliminated. So we use design design patterns so mm-hmm. to achieve uh, efficient state of transactions. Okay, so this is the way. Okay, no issue. Okay, what is encapsulation? Encapsulation means uh, enclosing a data within an uh, container. Like class is an encapsulation. You say we class and en- encapsulates various data and methods within its body. Okay. And uh, what is polymorphism? Polymorphism ability of message to be presented in more than one form. Like you override the message or overload the overload the classes. Okay. Overload so suppose class. uh, as you mentioned overriding. Okay. So if suppose we have extended any final class. Hmm. Okay. So uh, we can override their message. Or method. Uh, um, as far as I am not very sure, but I think that final class methods cannot be overridden because it is final one declared. It cannot. Yes. Be. That is the question only. Okay, great. Okay, so suppose like uh, you need to override some met- methods. Okay, but uh, you want to also override the constructor of the parent class. You can do that. Override the method and override the constructor. Yes. And this is not the final class. This is a simple class, which is created. If we, if we implement, if is it a class or interface? Class. Sir, if we inherit that class, then hmm. we can override the method, but right. we cannot override the constructor. Okay. So how you can call the constructor of the parent class? Uh, call the constructor of the parent class by creating the object. By creating the, the object. Uh, Okay, so suppose you created a cl- uh, subclass object. Okay, mm-hmm. so the parent class object will automatically create it. Okay, sir. We can create. We can, we have created the object of subclass. We have to call the parent class. We can use the subclass object to call the parent class. Okay, okay, okay. So let's move to another co- uh, question. What is the difference between list and collections? List and collections. Yes. Sir, list uh, list basically is a part of the collection, mm-hmm. but there are several more collections that yes. are like hash map and array list. Okay. And what is the difference between array list and linked list? Array list and linked list. Okay. Mm-hmm. Array list uh, stores the data in the contiguous space. Okay. One data is there, then second must be here. But linked list, while you use linked list, the continuous space is not allocated. It it stores one data here and second might not be anywhere. But it links the data by uh, address. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, do you know time complexities? Uh, yes, I am. I'm not very proficient, but okay. So, what is the time com- complexity of searching element in array list? Searching element in an array list. If it is, malab, if the array, malab, if the element is on the first position, then it is O of n. Hmm. O of one. And okay. if it is in the last position, if it is O of n. Okay. And in linked list, we will have to traverse the entire linked list, no? But the mm. worst case yeah. scenario is over. Yeah, right. Okay. So this is the array list and linked list. What is hash map? Hash map is uh, is the part of the collection that is stores the data in the key value pair. Okay. So suppose uh, what is the like 
any brief any description about you know about hash map and map yes okay i'll just uh, explain you internal working will hmm. it be fine yeah hash map stores this data in the form of the buckets okay uh, uh, unique hashing hash key is generated uh, suppose you have the 10 buckets and mm-hmm. you have hash key as 2 okay it will mod the data by 2 and store the data in the uh, uh, fifth bucket for example right. then uh, uh, the hash key changes for every data it all uh, it again mods the data with 10 the remainder when the key is stored matlab value is stored in that key, uh, bucket and while retrieving the data same happens there is key and you just model it you get the bucket and you just retrieve the data okay so there is a you uh, you are mentioning the hashing functionality right what is the functionality of hashing why we are showing so there is a hashing collision ha huh. so what is that hashing collision hmm. hashing collision is basically when two hash keys are collided matlab uh, when the m- like 5 and 5 is there then the hash key generated for both the values will be same right so that is known as collision because you mm-hmm. have to decide that that key for example five is stored in a bucket and you again get five so that there will collision will be occur that data is already in five then how can you so that at that time what hash map does is it replaces the data with the new data matlab old data is get replaced but uh, suppose that this is a functionality when we are uh, targeting to replace but if we want to persist that both data on a different nodes so then how we can do it Uh, so, so this is like <laughs> bucket is also implementing a link a link list so this will add a second node at that time and uh, store that value also so how we are handling the collision because if we replace the value then what is the purpose for storing that duplicate value in a multiple right because we are not working with the hash set okay uh, so okay. Uh, okay does hash set uh, allow duplicate uh, values no okay suppose or uh, it is ordered or an order hash set hmm. hash set is uh, uh, ordered nahi nahi an order an order yeah right. sorry that's why i was how ha uh, an order okay. sir i was just confused by yeah. matlab json object hash map and hash set are an order hmm. yes okay so okay let's talk about some spring boot thing so, uh, how you can handle the properties in spring boot properties by including that property file matlab you have the property file uh, the one which you want to use you can uh, add it into the dependencies and then you can use it if you want to change then no i am asking about not about the libraries i am asking about properties if you want to add some properties in your application spring boot object spring boot application so how you can handle it by adding that property into the property file and then using it to the code directly yeah This is the answer. Okay, okay. What is the add the rate component scan on addition? Component scan scans for all the dependencies that you have mentioned into the particular class file. Dependencies or packages? Packages. Yeah, right. So it will packages. Uh, it will scan all packages, right? Okay. Okay. What is the use of add the rate entity annotation? uh and the rate entity i just matlab uh, i am currently unable to remember uh, i have just studied but i am currently unable to recall it is uh, no okay I have you worked with jpa no okay you have not implement jpa or something so how you are how your project is storing the data into the database uh, basically we use our custom i form reference matlab we have created a i form reference uh, that uh, eliminates the process of the session matlab we have to every time we have to create a session now for storing the data so what it does it it automatically fetches the current session from the front end and mm-hmm. stores the data on that basis so uh, we just have to matlab uh, implement that dependency into our spring boot and just we can use i form reference so okay okay so you guys are not implementing jp or something no we have not okay. that is right okay uh, you worked with hibernate right no i have you have not worked with the hibernate okay no issue okay what is the difference between monolithic or microservices architecture monolithic architecture is something like something encapsulated into one matlab uh, like what our in our project was uh, we have a charges module okay mm-hmm. so there are certain charges module and charges calculation part for that mm-hmm. module so if charges are not calculated properly uh, the grid will not be uh, shown for every matlab we have a department trade and mm-hmm. finance department for every department matlab not for our bank every bank we have a single module okay so on dev uh, on dev 
exactly matlab not on uit or mm-hmm. so uh, what it impacted was if single charges were not working if singles matlab department charges were not working the entire department fails to yeah, right. uh, load the charges table so what we did is we break down that charges module into different component and just deployed on my application server so that is that part like breaking down of charges module mm-hmm. is known as microservices and the entire module in which charges are encapsulated that was monolithic architecture okay okay so according to you what is best or what are the characteristics microservices so but but for small projects is also good like we implement the microservices architecture uh no matlab <laughs> if you have two three two modules or three modules it is better you go with monolithic because microservices makes it complicated makes it complicated matlab every time you have to uh, look for three services but if you are very small architecture you can just encapsulate into one monolithic and you will just deploy and no one is impacted yeah, but if you have Uh, you have to achieve it on a large scale, or you have a very, I mean, twenty, thirty services running on. Yeah. So that is best that you break down it. Right. Okay. So have you worked with any security concerns, security things in your Spring Boot project? Yeah. Okay. So get any chance to work on JWT or something? Uh, JWT, you know I that? know. I mean, mm-hmm. while integrating the REST APIs, we uh, use little bit of JWT. Mm-hmm. and certificate and certificate encryption tsl certificate encryption for hanji okay okay let's talk about some http methods uh like uh, how many methods have you used for calling the apis and all uh http mein i have used get and post method basically but okay not other than this get and post right ha matlab our work is done work but done. if you hmm. ha, if you want matlab there are certain other method like post put method post hmm. method get method Yeah right. Okay, what is the difference between post and put? Post you know, and put. Put mm-hmm. is item potent and mm-hmm. post is not item potent. मतलब okay, if you will word stays item potent. Okay, if It's you use put, ठीक है. If you use put and you run your uh, API thousand times, mm-hmm. it will put thousand times data into your database, or it will change thousand times your data. But post it will not change. मतलब okay. Huh? That is known as item potency. Okay. Okay. So there is some HTTP response code, right? Huh. Okay. So can you please explain some about that? Like what is the response? Okay. Code there are basically what we do is hmm. uh, we use two response codes. First, when HTTP is correct uh, hit correctly, I mean uh, that response code that we we get from hmm. uh, uh, server side or client side wherever we are hitting the API. And the second response code we generate for ourselves that all the data are Uh, in the intact manner that response code we generate in the middleware intact mm-hmm. manner wala and uh, the response code that is generated like status code that is generated by correctly hitting the api is generated by after the hand checking is achieved properly okay so as you ma- uh, mentioned the middleware right mm-hmm. what is interceptor interceptor is used to uh, modify your request in the response in the middle after that you will share that response it is basically what is name it state is that the same matlab it inserts intercepts the request and then it gives back the response mm-hmm. request and then we okay so it request is only works. because of the when request comes or mm-hmm. it also worked on response time uh it depends now wherever you use Yes, like we can also implement on a response time. Interceptor right. is just a concept. You can use it in the request and response wherever you want. Yeah, right. Okay, so like uh, uh, you can explain some annotations you used regularly about that. Uh, we used uh, response body annotation and uh, component scan, no args constructor, all args constructor, uh, uh, enable auto configuration. Mm-hmm. bean annotation <laughs> what is many difference between adderate component and adderate bean adderate bean is used at the method hmm. and adderate component is used at the class level. at the class level okay so suppose you want to integrate some uh, security config or some class like which is uh, just add some configuration in your file so how you can create that class and how you will add that method for configuration change ha uh, will use the component method at the class and and then the component scan method will define the value of that component it will automatically scan okay. 
Okay. Auto add will use if we have some dependency. Mm-hmm. We'll use that auto add and rest all will be configured. Okay. Okay. One last question about uh, Spring Boot. Like suppose you want to create or call any other API, third party API. So how you can call that? Uh, how I can call that? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the spring boot uh, in the spring boot i can tell you normal normally we will use http uh, consume post api for mm-hmm. calling but that is a very old method mm-hmm. uh, i have never uh, used spring boot to call any third party api can you please tell me okay so there is a two methods to call that api like two or more than two but the primary we are using the rest template and one you can use fin client Fiend Client is an advanced version for calling that any API. Fiend Client. But this is about what the Fiend Client do, uh, does is it is work with your microservice architecture. Like if you want to call any API to other API for your local host or your microservice architecture, so you can use Fiend Client. Or other than this, REST templates is best to implement anything. Or there is a OK HTTP three. There is a lots of way to call in that API. Okay. So that's okay. So okay. Suppose you want to manage uh, like your microservices architecture. Okay, so how you implement caching? Have you worked with caching or something? And what is caching and mm-hmm. something? Okay, you uh, heard about no, Redis. I have not worked with it. You have you yes. heard about Redis? Uh, Redis no. Okay, Redis is the caching ma- uh, management tool. Uh, okay, you can learn after this interview. Okay, uh, you can share your screen. Let's uh, do some coding questions. Create some class, no issue, with the main method. Main method, okay. Yeah. The class name always in our caps. First letter is mm-hmm. cap. That is Malab only for. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, no issue. Okay. So, suppose let's start with stream only. Okay. So very basic question. There is a list of integer. Please type it. Mm-hmm. You can implement array list. Mm-hmm. Okay, so put some numbers into the list. List dot add works here. Mm-hmm. Put uh, works on maps. Okay, uh, add some more numbers. Any number eight, nine, fifteen, twenty, or something. So uh, use stream API and filter only odd numbers.
do one thing on the eight number na add mm-hmm. their a uh, parent class that uh, replace array list with list only uh, where uh, on eight line number eight yes here yes and uh, in that array list no no this is only works with list like uh, you can only import list and here you need to type array list yeah but no yes okay and then uh, change it to list here also on 90 number okay yes okay now sort it mm. yes okay you can do uh, you can print this list okay try to run this okay this is the only odd numbers great so now suppose you want you need to only print the numbers which start from from one only suppose that this is one and uh, 10 and 15 will be print on this list you need to filter the list which is uh-huh. n- the number which is starting from one suppose that one is start from one only 10 is start from 1 15 is start from 1 right and no issue you can do as a st- uh, integer only acha no need to change it yes from integer hmm. and mod and divide by 10 what is that 1 10 and divide by 10 Think that is the. Uh, is this okay? It is only printing ten and fifteen, because you have used the right logic. But it is only works on the number which is uh, where you can mod and get the answer. But if you apply one here, right? So one will not print in the list. So what you can do is, and the simply saying, you can uh, code it. like uh, the uh, the functionality is about you need to check if the first index of the value is one mm-hmm. or not um pa- but we can do that in the uh, string part na no? string part no no it is only work uh, you can convert it uh, a string in a filter right like suppose that you have n right in n you can convert it to two string and then there is a method sub string right with the stru- sub string 0 comma 1 you can get the first index of the uh, string right mm-hmm. and then you can compare if it's equal equal to 1 then you can correct into the list other than it will filter the data try to do that uh how i'll i convert matlab i have n dot 2 string n dot 2 string simple Okay, we can use that in okay. Ha. Hmm. We can use care add also. Okay. I, I was not it, sure that we can use that conversion part here only. Yeah, yeah. Not an issue. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, one more question. Like, uh, suppose other than stream, suppose you have hmm. a list of words. List of words. Okay. Right. and you need to reverse hmm. the words only like it is not about like a, uh, you need to revert uh, reverse one character it is just about you need to reverse the word suppose that this is how are you so you need to print you are how theek okay okay uh, using a stream api or we can any anything by anything you can do no issue with that just create a string and then convert it to array list and uh, then you can solve your problem you miss the variable mm. no i'm thinking that logic
we can simply use str dot re reverse but can't use then, any built in uh, methods huh can't use any built in methods uh we have to reverse this string now this is string hmm. you can comment it out other code ah uh, okay i'll comment some mistake i will tell you later no issue okay just print it then i will tell you Splitted the string from the space. How are you? And then no, you are not splitted with the space, right? You have only just add double quote. So what it will do? It will split all O, U, and and all, right? And that is the one. Alex, out of one for three. I must be greater than. नहीं तब तो आना नहीं चाहिए अब वन देर विल बी वन टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स ओके वट इज द डिफरेंट बिटवीन लेंथ एंड साइज ऑफ मैथड लेंथ इज यूज ऑन एर एंड साइज इज यूज ऑन कलेक्शन नो यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट द साइज ऑफ विद द एरे लिस्ट ओके सो आई विल टेल यू वाई दिस इज एक्सेप्शन अगर वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ दैट uh re dot length is 3 right and you are running this loop 3 times but there is only 0 1 2 index you need to add length minus 1 because then it will start from 2 and then it will end to 0 uh, okay and i must be yes okay Silly mistakes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No issue, no issue. That's a simple case. Okay, so this is the string method. Okay, so uh, suppose that uh, there is a one other coding questions. Uh, okay. Let's uh, do one thing. Like uh, you can short the array with the yeah. stream API. Short the array with Sorting. the stream API. Yes. Okay. Okay. So sort that uh, list which you have created in a reverse order. Using stream API, sorting using stream API. Yes. Uh, no, no. I... Okay, it is very simple. Dot sort, dot reverse. You can do that. Okay, this is the built-in methods. No issue. Okay, suppose you want to find the max number from the list, you can do with stream API. Ah, uh, max number with the stream API. Hmm. Ah, uh, in the sorted list, na? No, no, not not sorted list. The simple. Okay, and we'll then sort then. We'll print the last character of that list. Okay. Okay. So there is a max methods also in that stream. Okay. No issue. So suppose there is a one more question. Last question of the coding questions. Uh, okay. Suppose this is the list. Okay. Mm hmm. And then you need to just moderate this list 
by multiplying with the five for each any each element. Uh, please repeat again. Uh, just need to multiply each element with the five. Okay. Okay. Uh, do we have to use any, uh, uh, filtering criteria as well? No, no, no. There is no filtering criteria. You can use map here. Right. Okay, do one thing. Uh, okay, filter you know that, so there is no need to apply it. Once again, I just copy from. Suppose uh, we can. Uh, I'm just asking one question. Uh, okay. Suppose when we are calling man method. Okay. Okay. In our program, is there any way to terminate that program immediately? If we are calling main method. Suppose that we are calling main method, right? Obviously, when okay. we are uh, starting the project, the main method is called, right? So, is there any way to exit from the main method and uh, stop the program? We can use return. Return what? Return control. Return control. Hmm. Uh, we can simply use return without any uh, met, malab, without anything. Malab, simply return. Okay. Try to do that in your ID. Uh, no, it is not working. Of course. Because return without anything will not work in Java. It will work in JavaScript. Okay. Okay. What you can do is, uh, have you heard about any system methods, system class methods, like as you printing system dot out dot print. So there is other methods also. System dot exit type. Yeah, right. So you can use system dot exit when you want to exit from the program. So if it's the question is when you want to immediately exit from the main method, you can simply call that system system dot exit. Okay. That's not also. Okay, so uh, this is about the all Java and microservices and Spring Boot architecture. Okay, so suppose you want to create, I just giving you a scenario. Okay, just uh, you need to explain the architecture, what you can use and how you will start the programming for the project. Okay, suppose you want to create an e-commerce in microservices architecture. How will do? Uh, how will you start? What is the steps you are following for create an application? At which module you will make separates and why? Uh, what uh, what I have to create? E-commerce. E-commerce. Shopping website. Okay. Very basic example. Shopping website. Okay. For microservices, we'll use uh, uh, for an e-commerce site, we'll use like uh, payment part separate, mm -hmm. uh, delivery part separate, instructions one And then uh, the third, basically we can uh, use three parts only. For example, one part is for displaying and shopping added into cart. Second part is of checkout and third part is of delivery. So we can separate these three parts as a microservices and these three parts can intercommunicate using REST APIs. We'll use that microservices on the uh, API gateway mm -hmm. uh, and we'll route that request from API gateway. Eureka server will be used for an API gateway, of course, for the load balancing. We'll use Eureka server for uh, discovery part. Okay. Uh, whenever the request comes to the API gateway, it will redirect 
uh, into the for example from front end you have added the request from adding to the cart the request will come into the back end and to the api gateway it will get routed into the cart part uh, the request will be added for payment section when the request come from payment uh, it will api gateway and then route to the payment part and for delivery it will. okay so suppose if then there is a no api gateway so how you will interact with uh, each and every micro service for uh, no api gateway uh, again our api uh, our api will be hosted mm -hmm. microservices will be hosted on the application server right. or uh, then we can use simple url for you communication are, by urls you can communicate with the each and every api right? uh -huh. okay because there is a, some cases we don't have any api gateway provided so we need to correct uh, connect each microservice with that suppose there is a user service so we need to call the user service from the other or service and all right okay Okay, that's great. Totally okay. Okay, we can wrap it here. If you have any questions, you can ask. <laughs> what do I? What things I have to improve from? Malab. Okay. So yes, we will come into the feedback part. Okay. So feedback is about your interview. Like, uh, coding <coughs> is okay. You are doing good. Okay. That syntactical sugar there is a nothing about because uh, now uh, nowadays we are just using Chat GPT and all that tools. We just need to copy paste and all. So it's hard to remind uh, remember all the syntax. That's not the issue. But on the main part like Spring Boot, right, with the annotation with the database. So you need to learn some JPA because JPA tools are and Hibernate tools are using among like for uh, if we are talking about Hibernate for so 10 to 15 years, we are using Hibernate in each and every project. Okay. And uh, majorly in the banking projects. So like you can create that. Uh, suppose there's a no requirement in your company, but you can create your own. You can create a, uh, a standalone Spring Boot application with the JP implementation. Then you will get to know like there is an entity table. You can directly create a table with the entity annotation, right? And also there is a one-to-one -one many mapping to create and interact with multiple tables with each other. Like don't need to write some queries and all. Okay. Other than this, uh, if you want to improve, you need to just create more applications to learn about what Spring Boot architecture does and uh, how we can use microservices caching implementation, logging, and security. These are the current current requirement. And other than this, uh, it, okay, you can uh, some improve in your uh, core Java thing. Rest is all good. And if you want, like we can schedule this interview again after your practice and if you learn more things, so we can also reschedule it. Okay, I'll learn and then let you know for interview. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.